she listens to Kalani. And she told me about this, uh, she told me about this interview Kalani had with this certain religion that she's a part of. And I was like, you know, I'm a nerd. I, I, and I, I'm, I like studying witches and mediums and stuff like that. It's weird. So I was like, oh, what religion? Let me learn about it. And it was Santeria, you know, the, oh, the worship snap. of the dead. And so I started <laughs> looking. Mercy, that's dark. No, it is. So I started to look at some of Kalani's songs and she has this song called Altar. And I looked at the lyrics and I said, hey, friend, did you know that the first uh, four lyrics is the description of a Santeria altar? But, but the, the way the song sounds, it sounds like a love song when it's a worship song to one of her ancestors. And she said, I go to sleep to that song. E. coli virus. <laughs> that's what's happening. <laughs> Lord that, have mercy. That's what's happening. You're, you're listening to a song where she is worshiping the dead, a.k.a. demons. But it sound cool. It sound like pop. Sound exciting. It's demon. Yo, E. coli virus is crazy. Yeah, that's great. Um, so, so the lyrics, um, it starts out saying, fresh white flowers in the new tea light, nine cups of water, still water. And it's essentially describing like a uh, shrine, mm -hmm. you know, to your ancestors. So what do you think about what she said? I, again, who is Kalani? Why, why, why should we care? Um, oh, she's, she's an arm. She's she's yeah. a, she's a good artist. She's an R and B pop artist. Um, I ain't gonna say. Well, she, well, back in the day, she did date Kyrie, and that kind of went left. Oh, that's okay. Okay. Yeah, right, but I but I think since then, um, I, I know she. I believe she was in a same sex relationship. So, um, but yeah. So I, she R and B pop kind of mm -hmm. vibe. You know what I mean? She's she came with out with the Hey Big Head little slogan too. Then she when she te she tried to text him after it was oh, yeah. over. <laughs> And she was like, hey, big head. No, so, so everybody started using that after oh, that, Oh, that's too. where that came from? Yeah. Interesting. So, I mean, it, it just shows that um, a lot of the artists that you listen to, that's why we started. We had a segment on our show. We, we probably need to pick it up again called Dissect, where yeah. we would go through lyrics just like we did and and let you know that the lyrics that your kids recite while you're driving to, you? them to school, <laughs> the you. stuff that you just kind of ingest into your yeah. system is mm. not biblical at all. Yeah. Like, it is actually the opposite. So... Um, whenever it's kind of like brought to light. Now, Kalani could do whatever she wants, but this is going out to your children. This is going out into your ears. And you need to know that this is not God honoring in any kind mm -hmm. of way. And just in case you don't know, honoring your aunt. And this question came up. Somebody said this into our comment section about something else we did. But honoring your ancestors or, or praying to your ancestors is not okay yeah. right you can you can you can honor them like have a maybe a picture on the wall and say oh man remember uncle johnny like but to to like worship them and, and yeah. talk to them like that's not okay like yeah. clearly not okay it's like Ifa. um we were talking on 442 when he was a couple weeks ago but Ifa is like spreading through atlanta like crazy like an african um religion where they do that exact same thing they worship their ancestors they even go as far as to prepare a meal and sit it at the table, and the ancestors are supposed to come and eat dinner with them and have a meal with them. Like, and I had to tell my friend because he was Jeez. thinking about it. I said, "Bro, if something shows up and eats that food, <laughs> and you don't know Jesus, <laughs> and you in the world of trouble." But that's the kind of stuff that's going on. But once again, it's another religion to where people have some sort of control over the God they serve, as opposed to being mm. humble and submitting to the God that we serve. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I, I think I Goodness. think another thing too is uh, our God requires a standard, man. Like I seen a pastor talk about this recently. Like our God has a standard of living, yeah. and I think sometimes people don't want to meet that standard of living. And sometimes they it, it seems like rules, but it's not rules. It seems like it's it's a protection to protect you, so you won't so you won't go away from um, so you won't disappoint them, and, and and also so that you won't like like. Like, like, destroy yourself. I, I think it was you that said on the call, like, God is jealous. Like, yeah. yo, mm -hmm. you, you playing around with worshiping yeah. this other person that yeah. I, I made that yeah. dude. I made that lady. Yeah. You worshiping them over me? Yeah. Like, that's, that's been a constant, like, problem with sure. us over the years is worshiping the creation instead of the creator. Yeah. This yeah. happens over and over and Facts. over again. And he hates that. Yeah. <laughs> like, he yeah. hates it. Mm -hmm. So this is not like just like, oh, it's okay. D try not to do that anymore. And it's like, stop doing that. <laughs> yeah, like, that, that is not okay. Yeah. Right. Stop. Yeah, it's it's scary, man. I I, I just I I found it interesting that at times it's 
when you, and and maybe it's because new believers getting saved and and they, they still trying to practice it. I just find it interesting that more believers are still doing that. And when you find out, and they find out, they go like, "What's wrong with that? I do that all the time." But what, what, yeah. what's the problem? And then I think I think that scripture that we always kind of bring up is like when um he came back to Saul or so oh, yeah, trying yeah. to get. And I think sometimes we take certain scriptures and use those, or we read or we read the. Un, the 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 lost scriptures instead of the Bible and and, and yeah. Deuteronomy and mm-hmm. Leviticus and d- other stuff and I know I know some people gonna say well they said don't eat shrimp don't do this but at the same time the reason why it's like those are occult practices mm-hmm. that's what basically yeah. the, talking to the dead is occult practices 